So earlier this week, Apple released iOS 16, and with it comes a lot of new features. But the biggest one, especially if you have an iPhone 14 Pro, just so happens to be the ability to customize your lock screen and do cool things like add widgets. I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet, and in this how-to video, I'm gonna walk you through how to customize your lock screen, complete with a wallpaper or widgets or even a custom clock. First thing you need to do is install iOS 16. It's a free update. You may have seen it up here on September 12th, uh, Monday, September 12th, that's when it launched. It actually showed up alongside iOS 15.7, which was a security update that Apple released. You can install 15.7 or down below that, if you tapped on skip that, install iOS 16, you would install iOS 16. So once you have it installed, you'll see a whole bunch of new stuff popping up and around, but the main thing is that we're gonna to cover today is the new lock screen. So I have an iPhone 14 and an iPhone 14 Pro here, just received from Apple. They're still, in fact, they're still restoring from a backup, but I wanted to get this recorded so you can see it right away. So what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you how to get into the edit mode for lock screens, is I'm gonna wake the iPhone 14, which has a little bit of a head start in restoring. I'm gonna wake it up, Face ID has already recognized me and unlocked, and I'm gonna long press on the lock screen. And now this interface is gonna look very familiar to you if you have an Apple Watch and you've ever created a watch face on your Apple Watch itself and not through the Apple Watch app. So you can scroll through and see different lock screens you've already created. If this is the first time you're doing this, you won't have anything else other than your current wallpaper show up here. So to add a new lock screen, you'll tap on the plus icon, and that will bring up uh, the add a new wallpaper section where you have all these different categories up top. Move that out of the way here and do this. And then you can scroll down and through various options that Apple has ready for you to go. What's not showing up here for me is photos or suggested photos or photo shuffle, and that's because this device has not fully restored yet, and it has not downloaded my photo library. Normally, right before weather and astronomy, after featured, there would be some portrait mode photos that it's suggesting that I use for a wallpaper. So you may see that, it may look a little bit different. Don't be alarmed. Odds are your phone is already set up. All right, so I'm going to just tap on one here. Uh, let's do astronomy. And so now there are several different options for astronomy as my wallpaper. I could scroll out and see Earth with my current location as the green dot there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Maybe, no. All right, so then I could scroll over and this one actually it gives Earth detail and it follows the sun. And as the night approaches, you see the East Coast. For me, I'm in Colorado. You see the East Coast start to light up with lights and then eventually it takes over. Then there's the moon, a moon detail, and then the solar system. So what I suggest doing here, so you, once you find a lock screen wallpaper that you truly like, is going ahead and tapping on add now. So that way you don't lose it. You don't have to come back and go, wait, where was that? And if you make a mistake or get a call, because it does kick you out if you, uh, you know, do any of that and it does kick you out of the editing. So I'm gonna set this as a wallpaper pair and I'll go into this part a little bit more here in a minute. And then I'm gonna tap customize again. From here, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the clock or the time. And as you can see, there's eight different fonts you could pick from here. And you can find one that you think looks really good with this specific wallpaper or interactive background that you have. And then you can even come down here and go through all the colors and select something you really like. Um, if you want to go through the spectrum or you have an exact uh, color that you want to set, color value, RGB value, you can set that as well. I'm going to go back to, I like this blue here all the way to the right. That's been my go-to during the beta process uh, of iOS 16. So I'm going to go ahead and tap out of that. Now you see it adjusted the time, uh, the date up top, which you can tap on, and uh, also the clock is now a color. So when you tap on the top part, that's where the fun really comes in with lock screen, and that is widgets. And so widgets are little bits of information or shortcuts to apps that you can select at any time. 
uh, to either view information or open an app uh, if you need to. So there's a lot of different single bar, or long slender um, widgets you can put up top here. All of them will keep the date in, in that text bar there. So even if you wanted the weather or if I had some more third party apps like this purple air weather monitor, all of it is going to, uh, air quality monitor, all of it is going to include the date there uh, for you. So once you find one you like, I'm gonna go ahead and have that. I like seeing what my next appointment is um, up top, um, and then you could tap on X. So I could either stop now and hit done, or I can tap on this bigger area down here where it says add widgets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And as you install third-party apps, as well as in addition to the Apple apps that support this, you'll begin to see more widgets show up in this section. Now keep in mind, widgets sometimes don't show up here until you after you've updated the app and opened it. For example, Facebook the other day uh, updated the app for iOS 16 with support for lock screen widgets. So I installed the update, didn't open Facebook, came to this screen and Facebook was nowhere to be found. So what I suggest doing is if you see an app that's updated in, in the release notes, it says iOS 16 is supported, go ahead, install the update, launch the app, let it sit there for a second, then come in and try to add it to your lock screen. All right, so we can scroll down here through these various widgets and apps that I have here. Uh, you can add up to four of the one by one square widgets to your lock screen, or if you add a two by one or one by two, what would you call that? One by two? Yeah, let's go with one by two. Or you could add one, one by two, and two one by one squares or whatever combination taking up all of this space here. So I'm gonna delete that one and I'm gonna come back and um, hmm, we'll do Apple News. I'm gonna add that one and then I'm gonna tap on the X and the X again. All right, so here's another interesting thing. I did not discover this till way too late in the iOS 16 beta cycle, but you can actually customize what information is being shown by each widget right here on this screen. So if I wanted to change what Apple News is showing me, well, that's not one of the widgets I can do that with. So that was a good example of that. What about fitness? All right, so we'll change that out for my calendar. We'll do that. All right, so now if I tap on the calendar widget, a screen is gonna pop up asking me what I want to see in this widget, what information I want this widget to reflect. So I, right now it's set to mirror calendar app, which is gonna show me my next appointment that is in the calendar app, and that's all it's gonna surface. But if I wanted to turn that off, I can then pick from one of my eight total calendars I'm subscribed to or, or uh, manage which one I want it to surface and show the next appointment to. So in theory, I could have that top line widget showing me my next appointment, no matter what calendar it's on, but then the one below that, I could have it show me every Colorado Avalanche game that's coming up, or the next Colorado Avalanche game that's coming up, or if I'm traveling, my next step in my 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 journey, whether it's a flight or a hotel check-in or check-out. So after you're done setting a lock screen or creating it, and you, you tap done or save, and you're ready to use it, you'll have this little pop-up at the bottom here where it says, set as wallpaper pair or customize home screen. If you use set as wallpaper pair, it means that it's taken that same interactive wallpaper, whichever one you picked, and it's going to apply it to your lock screen and your home screen, it, it's all gonna look the same. However, if you tap on customize home screen, you're gonna get a view that looks like this. You'll have the original option, you can use a solid color if you want, a gradient, set your own photo if you want, or you can do this, and this happens to be my favorite application of this, is blur. And it, this isn't a good lock screen wallpaper to show you this on, but you can kind of see back there how the, the solar system's there, and I tap blur, and it kind of blurs it out. So that, it's all up to you what you want to do with it. Uh, now I have my lock screen, my widgets, but here's the cool part and why this feature was made for the iPhone 14 Pro, and hopefully next year all iPhone 15 models, is that once the screen goes off, you can't see anything, right? It's it's black, it's powered off. But with iPhone 14 Pro here, and you've probably seen it in the video up in the top corner the entire time, the display is always on. So I already have the widget added up here for the my calendar widget for tennis, or my next 
calendar appointment, which happens to be my daughter's tennis practice, and that's been visible the entire time. Now, if I wanted to wake the phone, go into the customize menu and edit option, and add some widgets of my own. Let's do weather, fitness, my alarm, and sure, a battery icon. All right, so that was quick and easy. I'm gonna hit done. While I'm doing this, I'll show you really quick the blur option. It'll be better and more apparent here. So now I'll tap on blur, kind of blurs it out. Pretty cool, I've been using that a lot. All right, so now here's the iPhone 14 Pro. Display is awake, no big deal, it looks like normal. Now the display has gone to sleep. However, I can still see that 4.30 p.m., tennis practice is going on, battery looks okay, my next alarm's at 6.15, and I'm ready to go with everything else. And honestly, like I said, this is why this feature was made. iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max have the always on display, and this is gonna be, it's gonna be super beneficial for a lot of different reasons, which are very apparent once you see it in action. All right, hopefully that helped you get started with using the new lock screen feature on iOS 16. I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more useful how-to videos, how-to tips, and all the latest tech news.